how exactly you get to the point where you say these metric results are okay and they can be released on Tuesday? The process that is involved is a, is a long process. It takes 18 months. It starts with the setting of the papers by the different assessment bodies. In this instance, it will be the Department of Basic Education. Once they have set the papers, they bring them to Uma Lucy for Uma Lucy to check whether the papers have been set according to the curriculum, according to the CAPS, Curriculum and Assessment Policy Statement. If we are not happy, we return the papers to say they need to be corrected in this and that area. Once we're happy, we give the Umar's stamp of approval. Then the paper is print ready. It will be printed, distributed to different centers throughout the country. And then at the point of the writing of the examinations, Umar Lucy does oversight. We do the, the, the monitoring of the writing of the examinations. Uh, with the marking also, we do and monitor the marking. But we don't only monitor, we verify whether marking has been done according to the said memorandum. Once the marks are captured, we also check whether there is double capturing. So that there is a capturer who captures the mark sheet, and then there is another capturer who will capture the same mark sheet. So that where they differ, they can then confer and say where did we differ. So that a learner get, gets the mark that he or she deserves. Once the marking has happened, the information is computed onto the national computer system and then we get graphs and tables. That's when we do standardization. The standardization process of December starts around the 16th, 15th of December and it runs up to the 23rd, 24th of, of December. Beyond the standardization meetings of the different assessment bodies, we then receive irregularity reports. The irregularity reports will indicate to us the nature of the malpractices that have been experienced and the extent to which they have happened and what corrective measures have been taken, what investigations still have to be, to be done. Where the irregularities are isolated, crypt notes, um, cheating here and there, we take them that they have not affected the whole system. Mm -hmm. It is only in instances where we have group copying, paper leakages or where the system has shown collapse where we say there's been systemic irregularities and we cannot validate the results. Mm -hmm. That issue seemed to be quite prevalent previously. Now it's, it's not there or it's not there on a wide scale manner. But Malusi has still expressed, Uma Lucy has still expressed concerns about uh, some things when it comes to matric, in particular maths. Yes, indeed. The chairperson of council uh, pronounced on mathematics. We, we are not happy with the the enrollment in mathematics. There seems to be a dwindling in numbers in terms of the number of candidates who opt for mathematics. And w even with that, mathematics in terms of the pass rates is not improving the same way as the rest of the other gateway subjects. And that is cause for concern when you consider the fourth industrial revolution and the needs of this country economically and otherwise, that we need medical doctors, we need engineers, we need people with mathematical skills to take those fields. Now, in the absence of growth in mathematics, we are worried about the economy of the country. Mm -hmm. when, when the results come out on Tuesday, when you've said you've given the green light, there's nothing else that could come up after the audits and the lots of work that you've conducted that may be a concern or that may uh, bring those results into question. We, we have looked at the entire system. Like I said, we discussed the irregularities. We have looked at all areas. And in areas where we are concerned, we have indicated to the different assessment bodies, including the Department of Basic Education, to block those results mm -hmm. for further investigations. So as things stand, we have pronounced it is just for the minister to pronounce on the outcome of the results. Let's move away from the results a little bit and talk about the actual work of Uma Lucy. You audit results, and it's not just for matric. We, 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 we do the oversight, we do quality assurance, not only for the NSC, National Senior Certificate. We've got a number of bodies whose qualifications we quality assure. The first one is the one that we have been talking about, that being the Department of Basic Education, which offers the National Senior Certificate, commonly called as metric. And then we've got the Department of Higher Education and Training, which also does National C Certificate Vocational, GTC Abbott Level 4, 
It also does the old end courses, the jet programs. Mm -hmm. That would be the Department of Education and Training. Then we've got the Independent Examination Board, IEB, which does only uh, two qualifications, the National Senior Certificate and GETC ABET Level 4. Then we've got Benchmark Assessment Agency, which uh, assesses only GTC ABET Level 4. Then we've got Sakai, South African Comprehensive Assessment Institute, which only does the National Senior Certificate as well. Okay. Before we go, there's an issue of fake news that's pervasive uh, across different platforms. And today, someone tried to use the SABC name to gain credibility to say that matric results um, show that out of 600,000 people who wrote, only 100,000 um, matrics passed. Uh, we know that that's not correct. How do you counter uh, fake news like that, working with the different departments, because that can also, that's also a very dangerous thing to happen. It, it is a very dangerous thing to do. Actually, that person is playing with the lives of many people. Um, Umalus is not able to pronounce on the outcome of the results. As I sit here, I don't know the outcome of the results. Those will be announced by the Honorable Minister on the 7th of, of January 2020. So anybody who claims that he knows the outcome, um, the news that is trying to spread are fake, mm. and we cannot consider them for anything. Omalusi CEO Dr. Mafura Kometsi joining me in studio. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News.